Are children's stories really all sweetness and light? Do you have your favorite tale? Is there a ghost? Maybe a witch or a demon you had to defeat? How did you learn about good and evil when you were a child? This video is an introduction to some of the most popular stories. Read through and see which story you think you might like. The link in the description section can help you find your next adventure. Back to Italy again, where Giannino is always in some kind of trouble. The Diary of Hurricane Gianni Giannino is the only male son of a well-to-do family. He has three sisters who aspire to marry well and a sympathetic mother who is the only family member to always forgive him. Giannino begins to write his diary in order to register fix on paper all the episodes which he considers his daily misadventures, while the adults define them a series of disasters caused by his being a troublemaker. Giannino pours into the pages of his diary his frustration for being constantly yelled at, punished, put in confinement and ultimately in a boarding school. From his perspective, he just follows and enacts what he hears from the adults in his family. He reports what he hears from them and this causes terrible consequences. This is due to the fact that in so doing, he unveils the hypocrisy of the adult world when nobody seems to put into practice what he is preached to children. In some kind of trouble, just like young Holden, The Catcher in the Rye is a 1951 novel by J.D. Salinger. A controversial novel originally published for adults, it has since become popular with adolescent readers for its themes of teenage angst and alienation. It has been translated into almost all of the world's major languages. Holden begins his story at Pansy Preparatory, an exclusive private school, fictional, though based on Salinger's own experience at Valley Forge Military Academy in Augustown, Pennsylvania, on the Saturday afternoon of the traditional football game with rival school Saxon Hall. Holden ends up missing the game. He is the manager of the fencing team and loses their equipment on a New York City subway train that morning, resulting in the cancellation of a match. He goes to the home of his history teacher named Mr. Spencer. Holden has been expelled and isn't to return after Christmas break, which begins the following Wednesday. The Hobbit, or There and Back Again, is a fantasy novel and children's book by English author J.R.R. Tolkien. It was published on the 21st of September 1937 to wide critical acclaim. Set in a time between the dawn of fairy and the dominion of man, The Hobbit follows the quest of home-loving hobbit Bilbo Baggins to win a share of the treasure guarded by the dragon Smaug. Bilbo's journey takes him from light-hearted rural surroundings into more sinister territory. The story is told in the form of an episodic quest and most chapters introduce a specific creature or type of creature of Tolkien's geography. By accepting the disreputable, romantic, adventurous sides of his nature and applying his wits and common sense, Bilbo gains a new level of maturity, competence and wisdom. The story reaches its climax in the Battle of the Five Armies, where many of the characters and creatures from earlier chapters re-emerge to engage in conflict. Treasure Island is an adventure novel by Scottish author Robert Louis Stevenson, narrating a tale of buccaneers and buried gold. It was originally serialized in the children's magazine Young Folks between 1881 and 1882, under the title Treasure Island, or the Mutiny of the Hispaniola, with Stevenson adopting the pseudonym Captain George North. It was first published on the 14th of November 1883 by Castle & Co. It is traditionally considered a coming-of-age story, and is noted for its atmosphere, characters and action. It is also noted as a wry commentary on the ambiguity of morality, as seen in Long John Silver, unusual for children's literature.
It is one of the most frequently dramatized of all novels. Its influence is enormous on popular perceptions of pirate, including such elements as treasure maps marked with X, schooners, the black spot, tropical islands, and one-legged seamen bearing parrots on their shoulder. Listen on now to see what Mowgli, Dorothy, and the others do in their endless adventures. And there's a little rabbit too. The Jungle Book, 1894, is a collection of stories by English author Rudyard Kipling, first published in magazines in 1893-94. The original publications contain illustrations of some of Rudyard's father, John Lockwood Kipling. The tales in the book, and also those in the second Jungle Book which followed in 1895, are fables, using animals in an anthropomorphic manner to give moral lessons. The verses of the Law of the Jungle, for example, lay down rules for the safety of individuals, families and communities. The Jungle Book, because of its moral tone, came to be used as a motivational book for the Cub Scouts, a junior element of the scouting movement. This use of the book's universe was approved by Kipling after a direct petition of Robert Baden Powell, founder of the scouting movement. Akela, the head wolf in the Jungle Book, has become a senior figure in the movement, the name being traditionally adopted by the leader of each cub scout pack. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz the story chronicles the adventures of a young farm girl named Dorothy in the magical land of Oz after she and her pet dog Toto are swept away from their Kansas home by a cyclone. The novel is one of the best known stories in American literature and has been widely translated. The Library of Congress has declared it America's greatest and best loved homegrown fairy tale. Its groundbreaking success and the success of the Broadway musical adapted from the novel led Baum to write 13 additional Oz books that serve as official sequels to the first story. Baum dedicated the book to my good friend and comrade, my wife, Maud Gage Baum. Dorothy is a young girl who lives with her Aunt Em and Uncle Henry and her little dog Toto on a Kansas farm. One day, Dorothy and Toto are caught up in a cyclone. I Misteri della Giungla Nera The Mystery of the Black Jungle from the Italian I Misteri della Giungla Nera is an exotic adventure novel written by Italian author Emilio Salgari, published in 1895. It features two of his most famous characters, the hunter Tremal Naik and his loyal servant Kamamuri. The adventure continues in the Pirates of Malaysia. Few can live in the black jungle of the Sundarbans, the islands formed by the delta of the Ganges River in India, a desolate, silent place teeming with wild, dangerous beasts. Yet it is among its dark forests and bamboo groves here that the renowned snake and tiger hunter Tremal Naik makes his home. For years he has lived there in peace until one night in the deep of the jungle, a strange apparition stands before him, a beautiful young woman that vanishes in an instant. Peter Pan and Wendy by Sir James Matthew Berry, 1911 Peter Pan, or the boy who wouldn't grow up, or Peter and Wendy, is J.M. Berry's most famous work in the form of a 1904 play and a 1911 novel. Both versions tell the story of Peter Pan, a mischievous little boy who can fly, in his adventures on the island of Neverland with Wendy Darling and her brothers, the fairy Tinkerbell, the Lost Boys and the pirate Captain Hook. The play and novel were inspired by Barry's friendship with the Llewellyn Davies family. Barry created Peter Pan in the stories he told to the sons of his friend Sylvia Llewellyn Davies with whom he had forged a special relationship. Mrs. Llewellyn Davis' death from cancer came within a few years after the death of her husband. Barry was named as co-guardian of the boys and unofficially adopted them. The character's name comes from two sources, Peter Llewellyn Davis, one of the boys, and Pan, 
the mischievous Greek god of the woodlands. Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter, 1902. The Tale of Peter Rabbit. This delightful story has been pleasing children ever since it was first written. While it is interesting, imaginative and cute, it carries a very serious message to children. Choose from one of the ideas below after reading. Think about a time when you were told what was expected of you, but you did not follow the expectation. Sometimes it seems life is nothing but rules to keep you from having a good time. Peter certainly found that out in a very real and dangerous way. Tell your story of a time you did not behave correctly. What were the consequences? Did you learn a lesson? Do you still not follow rules sometimes? Why? Die Unendliche Geschichte by Michael Ende, 1979 The never-ending story is a German fantasy novel by Michael Ende that was first published in 1979. The standard English translation by Ralph Mannheim was first published in 1983. In 1984 the novel was later adapted into an English-language German film of the same name. The book centers on a young boy, Bastian Balthasar Box, neglected by his grieving father after the sudden death of Bastian's mother. One day, Bastian enters an antique bookstore of Karl Conrad Coriander, where he finds his interest held by a book called The Neverending Story. A hopeless daydreamer, Bastian is unable to resist and he steals the book from the shop. He then hides in his school's attic, where he begins to read. The story Bastion reads is set in the magical land of Fantastica, ruled by the benevolent and mysterious childlike Empress. And now Harry, the Happy Prince and Alice, among others, are waiting for you to start a new journey.